Oh, I think you need to sing good morning. I think not. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Let the dog in. Uh, Boomer. Yeah, you know, get away. Good morning, everybody. Are you too close to me? I No, just okay. chill. <laughs> just do your thing. Good morning, everybody. I got up and we started chatting or Skyping right away with Amy Martin and Adam Dawkins. And <laughs> they told me a little white lie last time we spoke. And... The truth is now going to be revealed. They are actually boyfriend and girlfriend. And I'm going to make them kiss. Hey, were you guys in the same room when we were Skyping? You see that? Uh, do it again. Just for good measure. Yay. We got it. Congratulations. And, and uh, I know you guys were boyfriend and girlfriend in college or... At one point, high school, for four years. And when did you guys get back together? So it's fairly new. And it's gonna, it's gonna work this time. It is gonna work this time. I I know I haven't read it yet. I'll have to read it today. I haven't had a chance to read it. Amy was in the local newspaper out there and she sent me a link to the article. So I'm going to read that. Um what was that for? For my autism. Oh, and that's wonderful. That's wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and read that this afternoon or later tonight. And uh, I'll let you guys in on that. I'll put a link on our channel so you guys can see it as well. So say yeah. goodbye to the neighborhood. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. So what's for breakfast? <laughs> Even though it's 1230, what? I just got what's up. For lunch? <laughs> I just got up because I have not been sleeping. So I am actually having lunch, not breakfast. And I'm not allowed to have eggs and ham and stuff like that every day anymore. So I am having the fish that Kevin did not like last night with the leftover veggies for my first meal of the day. I don't want to call it lunch. I don't want to call it breakfast. It's brunch. <laughs> so what I did is I just put a little bit of butter in here. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if I'm supposed to not have butter. Is butter dairy? Uh, are you using real butter? Yeah. Yeah, that's dairy. All right, so I only put a little bit in. I probably should have then just used some olive oil. Well, we asked the doctor. The doctor said uh, as long as it's just enough to keep it from sticking to the bottom. But I think he said oil. Mm -hmm. um, I asked him about oil, not butter. Um, so I probably should have used oil oh, instead of butter. But probably. You're being a bad girl again. I, I didn't know. I didn't know <laughs> butter is... You didn't know I, butter is dairy. No, I mean, I'm not a... a Chef, I don't know all the things that are good and bad yet, and we haven't had a chance to meet with the 
Um, I'm going to put some garlic powder on it. Um, I haven't had a chance to meet with the nutritionist yet. That appointment's next week. Mm -hmm. And I do want to look for... I think Terry Johnson said she's sending me out some diabetic cookbooks or, or copies of some of what she had gotten. Um, so I don't want to go buy a whole bunch of stuff because Terry's sending me stuff. I don't want to go buy a whole bunch of stuff because people are being so very kind and generous and sending me stuff that's going to um, really help because financially we can't afford to go buy stuff. So. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be real help. And um, meanwhile, I'm just trying to, you know, do the best I can. And fish and vegetables is what I'm supposed to eat. And I added a little bit of butter. I'm sorry. <laughs> All that just to say yeah. you shouldn't have put butter in it. Yeah. Look, baby, I added some hemp seeds on here. Oh, great. Does that mean I'm going to... Uh, that's right, they're coming to get you now. Test positive for marijuana. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is not another episode of Nibbling with the Neighbors. Not quite yet. I will be filming one of those later on today. But I'm trying to be nice because Kevin, he's trying so hard to eat the fish that I'm cooking, and he's just not a fish person. And so I decided I'm going to be nice and cook up some chicken for him. I have two chicken breasts left in this bag and I have a whole bag here of chicken breast tenderloins. I can have chicken on my cheat days but what I'm going to do is I'm going to on top of my stove with my coconut oil, my garlic, my onion, and my basil. I'm going to cook all of that up for Kevin and for Megan because she likes to have that um, in her salads and whatnot and just have it readily available for them in the refrigerator. So Kevin is trying all of the fish dinners, but if he doesn't like it, he can always heat up some chicken. Okay, so I got the two chicken breasts going. They're going to take a lot longer than the tenderloins because they're a lot thicker and a lot bigger. So I'm going to let them cook. Meanwhile, I'm going to sit over here and watch some vlogs on my tablet. Just hanging out. Urgh. Camera doesn't want to turn, so let's just do that. Just going to hang out over here in the kitchen on a stool and watch some vlogs. So what are you doing? Are you trying to do four things at a time here? Three. Three. Ten steps into it. She just zonks out. It's Three. I'm watching Jimmy and Ferris right now, uh -huh. getting ready to prepare or to f start filming and nibbling with the neighbors, and I'm cooking chicken. That's not part of nibbling with the neighbors. You're slacking. <laughs> Are you sure you want to say that? I have something pointy in my hand. <laughs> but I figured I should have some chicken on hand. Um, Truly appreciate it. <laughs> so that you can heat something up. And I'm getting everything prepared in advance for filming or nibbling, for, for filming nibbling with the neighbors. I got it out. So <laughs> um, if you want to set me up, I'm ready to start that episode. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going doing mine. It does have sound, you know. <laughs> Are you, I thought we were uh, Charlie Chaplin. Is that who it was? Yeah, we have bad piano music, though. <laughs> do, 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 yeah, 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 do, do, okay. Hi, everybody! It's oh. time. All right. goes from silent to, oh. <laughs> to 12 decibels. And... <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Let's try, okay. Hello, everybody. It's time for Shout Neighborhood. Go ahead. It's time for neighborhood community shout outs. Yeah, you got it out. Yeah, you let yeah. me. Go ahead. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, I've got a headache and you've got a headache. Yes, we it's both have headaches. I'm, I think I have a headache because I'm making so many changes to my diet, diet. right now and it's like, woo. So, but. I just got a headache from her. 
<laughs> She's a carrier. Yeah, I am. Go ahead. <laughs> um, there's some people out there who have some concerns about my surgery and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And I just want to tell you all that I thank you very, very much for your concern. And I really do appreciate that you guys are concerned about me. <laughs> Why are you doing that? I am just following I you. always rock. Stop <laughs> it. Anyway, I, I want to let you guys know that I do appreciate how concerned you are for me. Um, but I do want to let you know that I have many specialists, doctors. The decision to do this gastric bypass surgery was discussed amongst all of them. So it wasn't just one doctor saying, okay, we're doing this. And it isn't just because of the diabetes. That was just sort of like the last straw. Okay. All right, so there's what I have to say about that. And I love you guys so much for being concerned. But it's time for shout outs. I didn't say it loud. Stop pretending. pretending. You, you act like I scream all the time. <laughs> I stopped screaming. Remember when I used to really scream? I don't scream anymore. Okay, dear. Okay, so my first shout out goes to Just Joey. Yo, Joey! From Atlantic City in New Jersey. Come on! He's losing subs, guys, and, and I don't like that. He's my bud from New Jersey. He can't be losing subs. Not gonna happen. Not on my watch. <laughs> anyway, guys, um,. Please go over and check him out and sub to him. And he promises the more subs he gets, the more vlogs he'll put up. So I know it should be the other way around, but he's just Joey. So, you know, Ida Christine, welcome to the neighborhood. And she's coming to us all the way from northern Norway. Sounds cold. Is it cold there? Can I come there? Because it's too dang hot here. Nice here. Okay. Azkar Zantolo. Zantolo. Welcome <laughs> to the neighborhood. I'm not even, even going to try. try. Not even going to try. Azkar? Yeah. Azkar Zantolo. Ah, I got it. Welcome to the neighborhood. And he came over from Nikki and John. Yay. Thanks, Nikki and John and Azkar. Welcome to the neighborhood. Stop that. Stop that. Amber Rice. I don't know if you're new. I think you are. But welcome to the neighborhood. And if you're not new, welcome, welcome anyway. Yeah, heard from you. <laughs> and you know what? She was surprised that I have all these illnesses because I am so upbeat and happy all the time. And I am such an inspiration good. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Poop, eat, and sleep also says I'm an inspiration that with all my medical issues and that I get on here. A lot of people didn't know I had all these medical issues because I get on here every day and I make everybody laugh and smile and, and I'm always so upbeat and happy. and. It's annoying sometimes. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Oh, that's, but, that's, that's the manic side of her. That's my manic side of my bipolar. But Poopy and Sleep is doing a weight loss program on her channel, and she is doing fantastic. And on a sad note, Robin Baumgartner had to put their dog Ellie down, and I'm so sorry, Robin. I know how difficult that is. Um, they're not just our pets, they are family members, and it, it's always rough to, to make that decision and to have to do something like that. So you're in our thoughts and prayers, and if everybody out there can also keep Robin and her family and, and Ellie in your thoughts and prayers, that would be absolutely wonderful. As always, I um, want to always give a shout out to Mom's Vlog 80. Um, always go and check those guys out, support them. They are an amazing, amazing family. Um, Melody's the mother, Ronnie is the father. They have two children. Buy a t shirt. Caden, who is um, autistic, 
and Elijah who is going through chemotherapy right now to fight neuroblastoma cancer. That's all I have for that. It's time for Neighborhood Community. Uh, credit roll. Crap! Come on. Come on. Come on. Say it nicer. More excitement. Come on. Roll. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> I, got a headache. I have a headache too, but I'm being all la 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 for, this, for our, our subscribers. They probably think I need to be in a padded room. I tried to pad the room, but they wouldn't let me. I would just bounce off of it and then bounce to the other wall and bounce back. Boo, 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 ricochet rabbit. Boo, boo, boo. Bigger. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here being our crazy selves or me being crazy and being a <laughs> little if it weren't for all of you out there watching us do all this, <laughs> we love you all so very much. From the bottom of our hearts to the tippy tops of our little heads. Ow. <laughs> Thumbs up. Talk about your own head. Thumbs up. We will see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to check out Neighborhood Zoo and uh. Paranormal Investigation. With the neighbors, P I N. Pin. Pin we'll head. We'll see you. <laughs> we'll see you all tomorrow.